Hello and welcome back to our video. On this lesson, we are going to learn how to use the keyword triggers. So keyword triggers are words that when typed by the customer, your chatbot flow would show up. So how do we create a keyword trigger? So it's really easy. We have already learned how to create a trigger by doing a right click anywhere on the screen and then clicking triggers. So that is how you can create a trigger. So in this case, we already have one trigger here, but it is a get started type. What we need here is to create a keyword type trigger. So let's connect this new keyword trigger here and then configure your trigger and then choose the keyword option. So for the keyword triggers, we can add single or multiple keywords. If you want to add multiple keywords, we simply separate each keyword with a comma. We also have three types of keyword, the wide, match, and strict. So later on this video, I'm going to explain what's the difference between the wide, match, and strict. For now, let's test how keyword trigger works. So let's say hello there. Okay, this is my keyword and this is just one keyword because it is not separated by a comma. So let me click OK. So notice here that we can connect two triggers here under one element. So let's save this and let's try to trigger the keyword. Okay, so remember that our keyword is hello there. We are going to type the same keyword here. So let's type hello there. Typing that should trigger our keyword. All right, so as you can see, the flow showed up because our keyword trigger has sent the flow or it triggered our flow. So what if I want more than one keyword? So you can easily do that. Just separate each keyword by a comma. So each keyword can be a single word or a sentence. So example, this is a sentence. So this can also be a keyword. So just make sure that you add a comma here if you want to add more than one keyword. So let's click OK, hit save, and then we are going to um, trigger this keyword. So let's type, this is a sentence. This should trigger our keyword, All right? As you can see, our keyword was triggered. You can also add just single keyword, example, single, or let's just say test. Okay, so that's a single keyword. So I'm gonna click OK, click save, and then let's trigger the keyword again using the new keyword that we added, test. So it should trigger our keyword. Now let's discuss what's the difference between wide, match, and strict. Okay, so we are now on the wide option. Using the wide option, it means that it will trigger whenever the, your word is part of a sentence or part of a word. So example, this is a test. So even though we don't have a keyword or a sentence keyword um, with this is a test, but since we have a test word here and that word is part of our keyword, then it will trigger because we have a wide match okay our keyword type is wide it will match any um any sentence or text as long as it contains t-e-s-t -E so example testing so even though we don't have a t testing keyword but since testing contains t-e-s-t -E it will still trigger our keyword all right so as you can see our keyword was triggered Using the white match keyword type, it wouldn't matter if you use capital letters or lowercase letters. So example, capital T, small letter E, capital S, small letter, letter T. If we send that, it will still trigger our keyword because we are under the match type. So let's say this is just a capital T, E, S, capital T, N, and whatever. Since that word contains T, E, S, T, it will trigger because we are under the match type. So that's how match type trigger works. So so there are times where this can be problematic um, whenever our subscriber contains or types a sentence that contains the matching letters. When you are using wide match keyword, it's better that you abo avoid a single word keyword. It's better if you use multiple word or, or you can use another type of trigger like the match type. Okay, so what is the match type? Let me test the match type here. So let's add the test word again. And then we are going to hit save. Okay, great, we have saved. When using the match type keyword, it will only trigger if it is a matching word. So even if that word or those letters are part of a sentence or part of a word, it will not trigger because it is not a match type. So example, testing. Previously, since we have a word T-E-S-T -E under the white type, this should work, this should trigger. But since we have changed it now to match type, our keyword will not trigger anymore because, because testing does not match our keyword. So if we type test here, it would trigger because it matches our keyword but if it is part of a sentence part of a sentest so let's try that sentest it will not trigger because it is not a matching word but it will still match if it is part of a sentence and on that sentence the word is exactly t-e-s-t -E so example exactly 
TEST. So in this case, it will trigger. It triggered because the TEST is matching the word per word um, keyword that we have um, configured here, all right? And since we used match type, it will also trigger even if it's just a part of a sentence. But if we do this, exactly testing, exactly testing, it will not trigger, right? It did not trigger exactly testing because testing does not match the words. It will also trigger even if you use uppercase or lowercase of your letters. So let's say capital T, capital S, exactly testing, it will not trigger. But if we use capital TEST and exactly test, even if the uppercase and the lowercase are not exact, it will still match. This is a part of test sentence. What do you think? Should it match? So let's hit enter. And yes, it did match. Okay, now let's proceed to another type of keyword, the strict type keyword. The strict type keyword only matches if the word that is typed by your subscriber is exactly the same as your keyword in your configuration. If you try here strict, let's click OK and then hit save. And then we are going to try out what is the behavior of the strict type message. So if you type test, it would trigger because test is exactly the same as one of our keywords, test, okay? But if we use capital letter T in the test, T-E-S-T, -E this would not trigger because strict type keyword is sensitive to uppercase and lowercase. It must be exactly the same. So strict type keyword would also not match if word is part of a sentence. Example, if we copy this, this one triggered under the match type and under the wide type. But this would not trigger under the strict type because this is we don't have a keyword that matches exactly this sentence. The only way for this to work under the strict type is if you copy the whole sentence and then add it on your keyword and use the strict type. That's the time that this sentence would trigger our keyword. We click OK and save and then try it out again. It should trigger because we have added it to our keyword and it matches exactly the same as the configuration. See, it triggered. But even if one of the letters has been removed or added, for example, let's add a dot, this will not trigger because it is not the exact sentence, exact characters as the strict type on our configuration. So I hope by now you know the difference between the strict type, the match type, and the white type, how we can add a single keyword and multiple keywords. So we are going to discuss more about the elements in the flow builder. So see you on the next video.